I mean, is there too many factors out of your control, even though the, you're the director? Or are you someone who says, I, I take the responsibility, good or bad? I do take the responsibility, good or bad. You do? You don't chalk it up to sometimes? Oh, well, I think there are, I mean, I, 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 can, I can look myself in the mirror and say, well, I, you know, I didn't see that one coming and neither did, you know, some very important people you right. know, in, in, the, in the process, damn. Um, but, um, but I don't, um, I don't ever think anything is anybody else's fault. I, I, again, I, I could say that I wasn't alone in being wrong, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, nor was I alone in being right. Are you hard on yourself when something doesn't work? Yeah, of course, because who else's job was it to get it right? And I've learned a lot over the years about kind of asking the right sort of questions to understand, um, you know, where the project is going and what people might be anticipating. And I've gotten better and better at it, and um, and, and a little bit less tough on myself. Whereas in the beginning, the editing room was where I was really just wanted to slip my wrists because it was just like, who's directing this freaking movie? Uh, wh really? That's where the that's. You didn't do another take? Uh, you, you know, there's a, there's a great thing in the movie, um, uh, all, all that jazz. Oh man, I love, I, I like that he said that. How you doing? I'm Corey Hunter. Welcome to another episode of Tips from Directors. And um, here we're watching another interview of Ron Howard. He says something dope, man. Um, sometimes you get to the editing process and you like, what happened to all these shots? I thought we had something better. And then you got to like mastermind it. That's where the magic come in, in, in the editing process. You got to, you got to figure it out. It's done now. What's done is done. Unless it bothers you to the extent where you say, yo, we need to do reshoots, which is a whole process. You're looking at the footage and you're feeling like a failure, you know? And, you know, sometimes you can swag it and um, something good come out of it. And sometimes you just beating a dead horse and you're like, yo, this is just not going to work. Right? So, yeah, it was interesting he said that. Where um, Bob Fosse directed it and Roy Scheider's playing Bob Fosse, basically, doing right. Lenny. And he's in the editing room and he's flipping out and he's saying, uh, God damn it, what asshole told the actor to do that. Me, I'm the asshole that told the actor to do it, play it that way. And it's, it's like the most honest thing about directing, because sometimes, sometimes directing does, you know, it does make you feel stupid. <laughs> well, do you ever wonder what it is, like how it is that you get so much smarter when you're on the editing couch? And right. you're Boom, man, I think that's, that's where we're at. All right, so Ron Howard is talking about directing and how sometimes it makes you feel stupid. And the editing process, what I just now described, like that that whole process, that's one example of it, right? As a director, you're like captain of the ship and you know, you're trying to get everything right, man. You're trying to do everything right. And sometimes things go through the crack. Sometimes things happen that you just didn't foresee. So that's just part of the game. Part of the game is just becoming better in terms of building your endurance, knowing some things that you have to think about Allowing that to become second nature, right? It's developing your talent, your your your, your senses as a director. You know, um, not being afraid to ask certain questions, not being afraid to ask things from your actors, right? And also knowing like boundaries and lines, knowing when you're being improper in terms of organizing, getting people their own time, and whatever the case may be, because. Uh, now I'm speaking like very indie filmmaker. In that respect, you know, the boundaries of your title goes further. Now you're not just, or rather, roles overlap. So now you're not just director, but you're also producer and AD. And when you have all these titles, you have more responsibility. With all these titles, all these roles you're playing, all this responsibility, it becomes easier to mess up, right? It's easier to mess up as producing the director as opposed to just taking on on one role, right? Doing everything by yourself can be just as destructive as too many chefs in the kitchen. And I think that explains itself, right? Sometimes you're directing things and you beat yourself up. Because sometimes you be in there and you be like, you know, I, I should get that. I should get one more shot. But you're scared. You're scared to get that one more shot because you're like... We've been here for two hours, and, we, and there's so much more we have to do, and you want to move along. 
And then you got to learn patience. That's when experience kicking. That's when experience said, you know what? It's going to be more devastating to move forward as opposed to get another shot, you know? Or you get a shot and you're like, yo, I should check the footage. And you don't check the footage. Or, you know, silly things like the battery dying, running out of space from the memory card, losing footage, shooting things from awkward angles, wasting time, making wrong decisions, right? And, you know, it's tough, especially when you're making wrong decisions in front of your team, you hoping, yo, I hope they got faith in me. And for the most part, they do. You know what I'm saying? They understand that you're human and that's okay. You know, it's just part of the process, man. Sometimes feeling a little defeated isn't the worst thing in the world. What really matters is just not quitting. Keep on going, bulldozing. It's okay. You get to the editing process and you're like, oh, man, what what what's going on? But bottom line, man, you did get them shots. You are in the editing room, whether you like it or not. You have a finished product. Now, if you want to go back and reshoot, now you're aware of your flaws. When you go to the next project, you've grown as a director. You also can't forget that, you know, this is a forever game. We don't ever stop growing, right? So, you know, every time we go from one set to the next, we're bringing with us new experiences, even though it might seem like we move in in cycles. So thank you. We're going to leave it right there. I appreciate you as always. And as always, until next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Leave a comment so that we can get a discussion going. Check out the Patreon. Check out the Turtle School that's there for you. Tools to help you learn and write and create stories. Thank you and I appreciate you.